Hello everybody, Star Sandy 64 here, back again with, well, actually, not a walkthrough. Well, actually, I should probably say it's kind of a walkthrough. But anyway, get to the point here, I'm going to show you how to put characters into Mugen. Many, many lots of you must be wondering, how the heck do I get my characters into Mugen there, or something's not working. <clears throat> well, allow me to teach you the step by step on how to put your characters to Mugen. So anyway, let's go on ahead and get started. The first thing you're going to need in order for you to get Mugen is Winrar and Mugen itself. Virtually, you're going to need Winrar in order to take the stuff that you take the files that you need to get Mugen to work. So I have this file right here, No Limit Mugen Patch. Some of you guys should probably remember this. So, double click. Power expired for me, but that's no problem. It still work. So what you gotta do is, once you find the, once you find a file for Mugen, you have to double click, go to Scrap 2, watch the destination path to where it'll be going to. So it'll be going to my downloads folder. I hit OK. Close this out. Scroll way up here, and here's my here's my file. Wait, Pretty much my well, all my music files to do. I don't need that anymore. Okay, right. So, we can move in. At least here's the files that we use to make the happy move in the world to run. So, it just looks like a whole bunch of crazy weird files, right? <clears throat> well, here it is right here. This is what we use to like run music. As you can see, it's pretty small. But it, but, it, but it operates. Oh no, I mean, that can be used, but that can be used to be better. Alright. So as you can see there, it looks like in the format of a fighting game. That's me again. And what you see here is some of the characters that we'll be able to use. Which is pretty much nothing but Kung Fu Man's. This is pretty much like... The way how to use like tech to see if the movement's working. So you can tell there that um you can use kung you can, you can, you can use kung fu man as a character. You can set the options and everything too. Let me make sure that I got everything all up in order. So pretty much, you can kind of run like this. You have a character, you choose it, if they're there, and then you can choose the stage. As you can see, that's what we can do for you. Okay, so there you go. But yeah, that's pretty much a general gist of you. Now you're probably wondering, how do I get these characters like these in, into the game? Well, it's pretty simple. What you have to do is, you see this file here that says Chars? This is pretty much the character the character is. And from here you see KFM. This is the Kung Fu Man file. Which is what used, which is the character that you saw me using in um, the new game. I, the reboot here tells you to put the character in this directory. And it tells you to go to edit your data, select DEF, to add characters to the selection list. To put it in simpler terms, this is where you put your characters. But how you get the characters? Well, it's pretty simple. You have the internet, don't you? You can always go look around for um, Mugen characters. How I usually find Mugen characters is I use the Mugen Wiki, which is where it shows you a whole bunch of um, it shows you a whole bunch of characters that you can. Um, they can tell you about the characters, and where they came from, and the amount of downloadable files that there is on. But that's just like one of the places. 
But anyway, I'm, now I'm going to show you how to import the characters into me. So, say for instance, I want, um, say, Zero from Mega Man. I have the file right here, MVC20. I already downloaded the file off the internet like a while back ago. So here it is right there, with the file. What you gotta do is, you gotta double click, look like this. And it'll show you the exact thing screen here too. And it looks right too, it's gonna extract right to this folder here in the chars. Close this out, and here's the file right here. MBC02, MBC20. There's a whole bunch of files here, don't mess with them yet. So, you think, so you're probably thinking there that no fear that you can import the character, import the character files into the charts folder. You think that would be good for probably like a second. Well, that's not the case here. At least not, not, not the point. So you're probably wondering, what do I do now? Well, it's simple. You go to data, and you go to here. Select the event. What you have to do is, you have to right click, and you go to either open or edit. For me, I personally would choose edit. Once you see this on the screen here, if you're, and you know you're getting something. What you gotta, so what you gotta do is you gotta, um, you gotta add, you gotta figure out how you're gonna add the character. Just show you an example right here. You can see from here. So, so don't, so don't touch anything here. Scroll down, keep scrolling down up till here. This, 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 this underneath here is where you put your character. So as you can see, there's KMF, followed by the day, day and that I will explain later, hopefully in another video. So you see the KFM file here, which is the same KFM file that you saw from the charge folder, right here. So generally, what you want to do is, seeing as though here that this is just a KFM folder and then this goes right to here, you just if you want to put in, say, like, another Kung Fu man, i just put in, i put in Mixed Space, KFM, and I'll just follow what they have here for now because I have to keep things in the safe. Once I do that, I hit set, I, I go to File, and I hit Save. And just to see if it works, scroll down, launch with Mugen. There he is. We, we got another Kung Fu Man here. So, but but if you don't want to have like a roster filled nothing but Kung Fu Man, what you can also do is you can go here and can just get and you can just get rid of the entire line here and then save again. I won't close it this time because I want to get back to it. Watch when you begin again. There you go, we're back down to three. Now, now that that part's been settled, now, you, now I'm gonna put in zero in Mugen. Now, here's where it gets very tricky. Listen up very carefully. Mugen is very case sensitive here, which means we're very case sensitive and pretty much you're know, about to do things exactly right. Like, you need to get the exact file name and put it in here. If you so much as miss a letter, a number, or capitalization, or lowercase, then it's not going to work. So what you need to do is, go to charge, get the reference, here's the file, mvc2, then an un 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 under line, and then zero. You can just, you can type it in as you see here. You go, you go, you or you can just right click, go to rename, and then use Control C, which would be the shortcut for copy. Go back to Select F, and then just use Control V, or you can just go to, or you can just paste it, or you can just paste it on that line. And and here's and, and here's the 
the character file for zero. Now, be wary. Some files require you to like put like put in like another floor before you get to the actual file. But because this is but because some um, of the way how this file was originated from, it's zero is not gonna pop up here. You're gonna probably wonder the reason why. Well, if you go back to the file, you'll notice there that when I click here, you'll see that there's another file name that says mpc 2 0 And then to the file here. So here's what you do. Go back to select this. Put this line here. And then, and then put in the exact same, same letter that you see there. Whatever it is that would be named. Once you do that, file, save. Aren't we moving? Apparently, it did not work this time, but no need to worry. I may have, I may have put in something wrong, so I'm glad that I didn't. So, so, in this case, being here, I scroll, I scroll down, figure out, figure out what the death file is, which is pretty much the exact same thing here. So, in any case, what I would have to do is, I would put in another line. FBC, 2, 0. Zero. I'll test run him to let you let you see how he plays. So as you can see there, I'm using zero and Megan. Kind of pretty well. That's pretty much a general gist on how you um, upload characters over to Megan. As you can see, it's not too bad. All the files are in order when you check. That's pretty much the general gist on how Zero kind of works out. So yeah, so now you can use Zero in in Mugen. Now I'm going to show you. Just, just in case, I'll show you another example. So say for instance... I don't know. Say I want to have Sonic in What I have to do is, once again, I go over to Chars. I already have the file downloaded, so I'll just put it, put it here. Just this file here. Double click. Here's the file name. Extract 2. Extract to this folder here, and here's the file. C CBTW Sonic. And just like zero, it, requ it requires two clicks from me to continue. So, so as usual, what I gotta want to do is I can type in as I see there, or I can just I mean, go to rename and have this thing highlighted. Control C. Go over to select. Dot, select death. Make another space and then paste. And because it took me a and just like zero, because it took me a few clicks to get to where I'm in, what I gotta do is I gotta do it again and then once more. Once I do that, it's safe. Once we when you get again. There you go. There's Sonic. Oh so yeah, that's pretty much how you put characters into the movie. Play a little bit. I 
as you can see, they are Mari and Nathalie Fine, because I played Pabby, you can find the floor. Piece of cake! And yeah, that's a pretty much general uh, rundown of how you put meeting characters into, well, the new game. So, in, so just in case I'll show you this one more time, I won't put another character, but I'll just show you what you do. You have new game, you go to the chart folder, you put your characters in here and you present the files. You take you take the file you take the file names, go to data, go to select DF, right click, edit, scroll down up to here, or get the put your characters below. And then you and then you put the corresponding file name into here. Depending on how much folders you need to go through before you make it to a DEF file of that character, that's how much you need to put in. So say, say for instance there, I uh, let's just say for instance you got like a character, you got like a character folder where you only get this folder here, and then it just takes you right to this, like the Kung Fu Man file, which only takes like one click, and it takes you right to where you see all this, like where the KMM KFM DEF file. Then that's how much you need to put in into the um, into here. Select the yeah. So the more folders folders you gotta go to, the more of these lines you have to put in. This pretty much counts as a folder forward. Don't forget that. And don't forget, every time you're done, every time you're done with putting in a character or making any changes or edits, make sure you go to file and then save. It may take some work getting used to, but but if you take the time and you have the patience to, eventually you'll be able to do it. So yep, yeah, that's pretty much how you put characters into the new game. If you like what you see, go on ahead and give a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time on the next video. Stay safe, and I'll see you all next time. Yeah yeah.